Good morning! Today we'll dockerize the LoadDB JSON server that we made in one of the previous videos. Here is the project. It is um, an Express.js server that uses LoadDB to store the data in DB JSON file. To dockerize this service, we first need to create the docker file. New file, docker file. Then we need to pick what image do we want to base it upon. And we want to base it on docker that already has node installed. So we say from node. And I don't know what version should we pick. So let's go to docker hub and see what is the latest node docker. So we search for node, open the first image. Then we look at the tags. And here we can pick the latest or LTS or any other version if you want. Let's go back to the docker file. I'm going to use latest. After we chose the base image, we need to pick the working directory in our container. So we set work dir user src app. Now we'll install the app dependencies. Before we do it, we need to copy the yarn log and package JSON file. If you use npm and not yarn, you will need to copy the package log JSON. Copy package JSON to the working directory. And we also need to copy the yarn log file. Both files will end up in the working directory. And now we can install the packages by running yarn. Run yarn. Then we need to copy the application source to our container. Copy everything from current directory to the docker working directory. We will want to ignore the node modules files. So let's create a new file. Dot docker ignore. This file works just like git ignore, where you can specify which files or directories do you want to ignore when using docker. We specify node modules and then go back to docker file. Our server runs on the port 4000, so we need to expose this port, expose 4000. All these commands will run during the image building. Now we'll add the command that will run when we start the container, cmd node index.js. Now we can build our image, run docker build, then we can specify the tag using the t flag, Let's call it low JSON because it's low DB JSON server. And then we specify the current directory dot enter. Good, the image is built. Now we can see the list of the images on this machine. Docker images. And here are all the images available for me on this machine. I could also run Docker image ls and it does the same. Now let's run the image. It will create a container. Docker run p. 4000, that means 4000 on host machine, should be connected with the port 4000 on the container. We run it in detached mode. Then we need to provide the image identifier. We can use either the hash number of the image or the tag. We will use the tag, low JSON. Okay, something is already running on my port 4000. Let's change the command and run it on the port 5000 on the host machine. The image is running. Now I can see the list of running containers using docker ps. The low JSON has this ID and is running for 8 seconds already. As you can see, I also have other containers running. I even have a home assistant. I wanted to set up some uh, colored lights automations, but I didn't really do it. We can run the curl command to see if our server will respond to us. curl http localhost 5000 because on host machine it will be 5000 and it will be connected with uh, the, with the port 4000 on container and we successfully get a response message. Now if you want to stop the container you can run docker stop and then you pass the ID of the running container docker stop and its ID. If you run docker ps again you will see that our low JSON server is not running anymore. Now that we successfully dockerized our server, we can do a bunch of things with it. We can publish it to Docker Hub to make it available for the whole team if we need to. We can publish it to some hosting and it's way easier to do with Docker. I can show it in one of the next videos. We could also improve the current setup using volumes because right now, every time you will start the container again, the dbjson will be overridden with the value it had when the image was created. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what would you like to see in the next videos or better yet, join the Discord server and vote for the next topics there. See you next time.